master web development with Skill Bakery. Hey everyone, ready to level up your web dev skills? Introducing SkillBakery.com premium courses starting at just $6 or 500 rupees. Sign up today and learn in demand skill sets. Unlock your potential today at SkillBakery.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Till now we have been playing with a very simple data type called string. Now, in this one, we'll be exploring how we can create methods or functions which takes a different data type. In this case, we'll be taking integer. So here, we'll be creating a function, let's call it sum, and then we'll take one parameter, let's say x, and the data type for this will be unsigned integer variable. So we'll define it as u32, and then the other one as y, and this also is going to be of integer data type u32. Now that we have the function, let's have the definition of it. So the sum function is going to return something. Now, till now we have seen methods which consumed something and for example, in this case, it, what we are looking over here in the Greek method is just printing something. It's not returning something which we can you know, assign to another variable. And in this case, this function is going to do that. So it's going to return an integer over here. So we say that the function sum has these two parameters and it's going to return an integer variable. Now that integer variable will be the sum of x and y. So we have defined our method now and this method needs to be called. So what we will be doing over here in our main method will be taking these two numbers as input from the user. So the first thing that we need to do is print ln and here we'll be providing case enter of first number. And once we have the first number, we'll be going ahead and working with the next one. So here the first number is going to be of type string, obviously mutable in nature as you can see over here. And once that's done, you can see that we will be going ahead with this line and over here you can see that what we're doing is we're simply taking the first number variable we're passing it to the read line method unwrapping it now unwrap basically to resolve in either the value that is being captured so if someone types a string or whatever they type will be treated as a string otherwise it's going to return in an error we'll be exploring more about this in the example that we are trying to explain over here so we have the unwrap and the first number. Now the first number contains the value. Next thing that we need to do is we need to convert this number to integer. So as you can see over here, we are going to do that with this. But over here, instead of F64, the data type we will be taking is U32. So if you see over here, first number is of type string. The method that we have, sum method, is taking integers. So what we need to do is we need to parse this string to integer. To do that, first thing is shimming so that we get rid of any spaces and all that the user might have entered while entering the number. Next thing is the parse method. So parse is going to convert it to this particular data type that we are providing. The unwrap obviously returns if the value is successful, otherwise it will return in an error. We'll be demonstrating this one in this method itself when we'll be calling it. Now, let's go ahead and do the same with another number. So we had first number over here and then we'll have the second number over here. So instead of first number here, we'll be saying second number, we'll be passing the second number and this and then we'll be converting the second number as integer. Now, we have these two numbers. Let's go ahead and call the sum method. So let me put sum method top over here so that we have it visible all the time. Over here, when we have both the numbers, next thing is we need to have the result as the output. So here, let's have a variable result and this is going to get these two things 
So first number will be passed over here and then we'll have the second number. Once we have first and second number passed to the sum function, it is going to return the result and here we'll have the result printed. Now by here let's go ahead and try executing this by running the command cargo run. Over here you can see that it says mismatched types and if you scroll down a bit over here it says function and then it says that it's expecting an integer and it's finding nothing over here. So it says implicitly returns empty as its body has no tail or return expression. So if you look closely over here what we have done is we have simply written x plus y then a semicolon. So either we have to provide the return statement or we can get rid of the semicolon. So here it says that remove this semicolon to return this value. So let's go ahead and do that and now save this and do a cargo run. When we do this, you will get the prompt over here. Please enter a first number. Now, instead of entering a number, I enter a string. Notice what happens. It says that mean panicked at this particular line number. And the reason behind it, because it was not able to parse that string as an integer, as a valid integer. And it says that it tried calling unwrap on the on this line number and it was not able to parse that string as an integer. So basically that's what we were trying to explain over here that unwrap returns a result which if successful returns the number or the thing that is trying to you know return and if not then it is going to return in an error and that error needs to be handled carefully. And it should not happen that your program just terminates abruptly, like what has happened in this case. So let's go ahead and rerun cargo run over here. And this time, let's go ahead and enter a proper number, like 10, and then the second number, 20. And this time around, we are getting the result. The sum is 30. So what we have learned in this is how to create a function which returns something and how to parse data rights from one to another like string to integer and then also how to make use of unwrap to handle errors.